Welcome everybody to Let's Play Metal Slug 6. I'm your host Alexander Frost and this is episode 1. As you can see here, this is the Metal Slug Anthology. So it has Metal Slug, Metal Slug 2, Metal Slug X, which was far superior to 2 in my opinion, Metal Slug 3, my favorite, Metal Slug 4, which was kind of meh, Metal Slug 5, which was even less meh, and then Metal Slug 6, 6 which was made exclusively for the arcades in Japan and has only been released on the console for the US. Now, let's move on. They changed a lot between this game and the last one. A lot, a lot. Namely, the sound effects. Oh, they changed the sound effects. And that is just a little too bright. There we go. SNK Playmore doesn't have to be quite so bold on the eyes. Now the first big thing you're going to notice is that in order to actually play the entire game, all five stages, we have to play on hard mode. And this is the intro screen, that's that's it. Just boom. The game also assumes you've played it before. If we play it on easy, we can only play four stages and we always spawn with a heavy machine gun. We don't want to do that. We play on hard, we play everything. So this is essentially normal. We have all four characters, and the big gimmick in this game is everyone has their own specific gimmick that makes them different from each other. And they've also introduced Ralph Jones and Clark Steele from the uh, King of Fighters series. But to start, we'll go with Ari. I'm sorry, Theo. And I will introduce everyone's gimmicks as we go. Now the first thing you're going to notice is at the bottom you're going to see a little thing that says H. Part of this is that Theo's gimmick is that she is a weapons master. As a result, she always spawns with a, with a heavy machine gun in her inventory. I mean, uh, I'm not worried about time, but let me stop here. She always spawns with a heavy machine gun. She can do more damage with all weapons that she picks up and gets more ammunition. Downside is, her standard pistol does a lot less damage. We've lost the ability to slide, which is kind of sucks. And the alternate fire, which is uh, what you use to, <laughs> which is what you use to kill or uh, send your tank on death runs with, has been switched up to R1. So there's no accidentally, you know, sending your tank off by mistake. Now then, you'll notice that they changed the sound effects. Killing soldier sounds different. The guns sound different. He sounds different. So with this ability here. Pressing triangle lets you swap out weapons, so you can either swap back and forth between the standard machine gun or go back to your pistol. So you can carry two weapons and save weapons for later. I'm going to miss rocket launch here. Oh. Oh. No, I don't really want to do this. I don't want to. Perfect. Much better, much better. Grenade over. Grenade. Now that little meter there that says times four, that little red meter in the lower left, what that is... I did lose my heavy machine gun. Whoops. Oh, what that is is as I do damage to enemies, it goes up. Once it fills, it maxes out. And once it maxes out, I can do a lot more damage to enemies and get score multipliers, which is quite handy. Very effective against bosses, too. See how fast that was? Oh boy, rotten mushroom. Hello, Mr. Helicopter. So I'd have to say my big gripe about this game is that it is almost dickishly cheap. The final stage, in particular, is really, really hard. It's just like, oh, well, you'll see. Hello, sir. Overall, I do like the game. It's great, it's fun, and I just love playing it. But, I don't know, there's just 
so much that could have been changed and made better in my opinion. Get in the bank. Nope. Nope. The art style looks different too, and it just looks really, really good, and just, I don't know, I really like this game, the music's okay, and, uh, you know, I had this all planned out in my head, but, you know, I'm just gonna wing it and enjoy it. Uh, if the reason, uh, oh, damn it, I actually didn't want that, the yeah, is terrible. You're probably wondering, why didn't I just go on ahead and play the, uh, if I actually had all of the Metal Slug games on the, uh, on the PS2, why didn't I just play using that particular system? The reason being is that the transitions are very, very slow for some strange reason. And, uh, the transitions can actually be kind of bad. Die now. Die. Points everywhere. Golden bat, golden bat, get! Imagine, if you will, in Metal Slug 3, on the very last stage, there was that scene where you hopped into the rocket and took off. Because this game actually, because the uh, PS2 version here uses, uh, I can't, I can never focus while I'm actually fighting. The PS2 version, being a CD version, loads using the transition periods, unlike the arcade versions or emulator versions. As a result, instead of a smooth momentary transition from one scene to the next, there is a delay that sort of breaks up the scene. The Sega CD was kind of the same way with music, like in Sonic CD, for example. If you popped open a box, uh, an invincibility box, there would be a set momentary delay between when you hit the box and when you and when you actually got the power up, which kind of sucks. Oh. No, no, don't you use that drill. Nope, you're just gonna use the rocks. Do decent effect. But you know, there it is. See? Now, was that so hard? I don't think so. Now, these first two missions are relatively short, so I'm going to go on ahead and squeeze Mission 2 into this episode. Whoa, I forgot those guys take more damage. Oh, shit. Okay, random guys with butcher knives running around. Man, there are soldiers who could take lessons from you guys. Laser gun! Laser gun. Uh, yes, in this game I forgot, you could angle your shots. Whoa now, Chief. Oh, oh. That was close. I don't want to lose this gun, it's a good gun. This just keeps getting better and better. It's like the game wants me to have lasers. Oh, 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 explode already. Damn it! 
was trying not to get caught in the explosions. Those stupid grenades. I lost all my good stuff, and I just got killed again, because I'm not paying attention. Well, that just went swimmingly. It's the aliens. No! I don't want drop shot, it's a piece of shit! Well, I only get 15 rounds, so it'll be gone in a moment anyway. Okay, so maybe that actually is pretty decent. Damn it, I wanted to get rid of the drop shot and keep the heavy machine gun. Ah, okay, well. Now I have the opportunity to go on ahead and show off Marco. Marco's ability is that his default gun is stronger. Yes, I am ready. Particularly, it's as strong as a heavy machine gun round, which is actually pretty good. So it's actually very useful in combat against, uh, oh, you know, if you're against a boss and you're like, well, look at that, I ran out of ammo for everything. Oh, a laser would have been really handy right about now. It's a good thing I got the... the... donkey... slug. This may seem like a useless one, but... Clink! Suddenly... Now, I can hop on this thing, can't I? I thought I could. No, 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 come back. Come... I can catch you. Ooh! Ugh. Well, the Zanetsu Sword is a new one. What the Zanetsu Sword is, is it's uh, a short-range blast shot, which is actually kind of useful. Get off of my... Okay, fine. This is not going to work. I'm just going to you shoot you the old-fashioned way. Then I'm going to... Oh, no, I'm not. Ugh. Fucking tank. Wait, what? What happened? Get back on that. No, no, come back! I needed you! Oh, okay. Shit's getting crazy already. Oh, what, what did I just hit? Frick! Alright, look. I'm gonna save this prisoner, damn it gonna happen. No, no. Thank you. For fruit. I ducked! I totally ducked! Okay, oh, okay, this is getting insane in the membrane, and this is not working out the way it should at all. That, 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 that went pretty bad, actually. Oh! <laughs> you thought that was funny, didn't you? Hey, <laughs> guess what? You know what? I should have used Barry for this. It's okay. I got mole. Okay.
You mad, bro? Just pull out the big guns. Oh, I can destroy those shots. I didn't know that. Oh, 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 oh. Just in time. No, no, not just in time. I thought he was exploding. Okay, you could die any time now. Why did I think running into that was a brilliant idea? Because I stupid, that's why. Well, that was not fair, but it's all right. Okay, it's done. See? Second stage is already getting dickishly hard. I think if I hadn't tried to save those prisoners, I could have kept it under control. So it seems we have a new threat to deal with. <laughs> so, this game takes place right after Metal Slug 3. And we now know... Mission three, start. Oh, not this time. And now we know that there are new aliens out there that must be content with. But for now, I'm going to call this a video. Until next time, folks.